Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on our wishlist account. We have 19,000 diamonds, that's right. We've been farming up like crazy. Now in addition guys, we do have two new things. Of course, the new dimensional hero is up. You can see it is kind of short lived. We have uh, 52 days until we'll have access to this hero. On this account, we are saving and we are gonna use him. Don't know if I'm gonna use the uh, free trial version at this point, but in addition, we do have the Abyssal Expedition that is up. That is right, the Vault of Time is up. With season 11, I'm gonna enroll in here and I'm gonna go in here with the honorable enrollment for our 3000 diamonds. Now I feel like with the progression that we've made, I'm gonna be able to actually make some decent progression in here is what I'm hoping with the summons today. So again, you're gonna have to hold me to it to see where we are with the honorable enrollment. Matchmaking starts in three more days, guys. That gives us three days to go ahead and make progression. Now at this point, we are 16 days in. That is right, guys just north of two weeks in. But again, we're starting to see some of our Ascended heroes. We're starting to build them up a little bit further. Want to do some summons in here with what we do have left. Three stones right here, which is look like I seen Mishka as well, guys. We need to get a few more copies of some of these key heroes over the next couple days so we can make some progression in the expedition. Now, um, in addition, we've started to get a lot more furniture, started to get a lot more copies of heroes. Even looking here, Graveborn are getting pretty close to done. Honestly, when you look at the wish list and look at the heroes we are really building out, Ivan just need a couple more um, copies and then some food. Boom, we have him ascended. We have four copies of Grez. That means we have Grez ascended. We have two copies of Silas. We need two copies of Silas, guys, and that will actually take them all to ascended if we can get the food. So if we can get those heroes in there to get the food. Now out of the tower, we've also made a lot more progression in here, meaning that we're at 61 already. This was the cap, again, based on when we unlocked those faction towers but we're going to continue making progression in there. Also within the Thrilling Voyage, since we got the reset guys, we're 54% with the Lost Veggie, literally with the only heroes that I have in here um, that I have been running. You can see we went through the first 15. Burst Beast Rearing went pretty quick, even got some food in there. Now the, the um, Radish is up, so if you can go in the Beast, and the Radish is now in there. Now, in addition guys, we do have the Advanced Ship, so that's right, the Radish is there. There's our Dimensional Hero. This is a free to play account, so we're not putting anything into it. We got some scrolls, we got some summons. We also do have some companion and 16,000 left. Now we also picked up a couple Stargazer cards, as you can see right there. We also got a couple of Temple of Time, so some time emblems. We have seen zero, that is right, zero Awakened Heroes at this point of AFK Arena. So again, we're gonna run through, we're gonna get all these diamonds. Um, and all these summons and see if hopefully by chance there's an elite guys, which is Nevi. I will definitely take it, but I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to make some solid progression of this 26 days. Of course, we picked up Ivan, two more summons out of here, and I'm hoping again to get a couple more elites, but we need food. That is the biggest thing guys, as much as I like the elite hero right there, which is Ivan again, very nice. So that just means I believe that we need food Again, at this point, starting to get some more resources. And then we get into our regular summons. So we have 15 scrolls right here. Just a little bit more food. Then of course, we're gonna burn through all of these diamonds. I am not gonna save any of the diamonds in here. And I'm hoping with Mishka, I'm hoping with Nevi, a few other heroes that we're gonna have the ability to actually pull them out of the wish list and get them summoned up and built just a little bit further. Again, light bears, we don't have anyone at this point, even though they've been at the wish list the whole entire time. Also, when it comes to the maulers, the exact same guys, we just have some um, legendary plus heroes, but overall we need a lot more elite heroes. And there is one guys, which is a copy of Homer, absolutely a priority to build. And we are maxed out. I figured this was gonna happen, but there's a second copy of Homer. If I get anyone, honestly, because we already do have the food in both of those factions, I'm just gonna build them. I'm just gonna build them regardless of who we have. I think we're gonna be maxed out again, guys, but there's another elite, which is Anasta. We have one more summon. Last one, just some more food. So unfortunately, not a lot of good pulls in there, but I think that's gonna give us some more resources, some more cards out of there. Five more here, and again, looking for Liberta. Liberta is the one we've already pulled two copies of him so far, but everything, like I said earlier, is going to go in. But even having him built up a little bit further, I wanna see where we can get, guys, and where we can get, and hopefully, Athelia. Now again, in here, this is just loot. 
even though I might not be getting a copy of Athelia to actually unlock her. Um, but this is providing me a lot of loot to build up the current heroes that we have. So again, not too great on the summons in there. Let's pop open all of the resources progression wise. Going to be making a ton. We have a ton of things kind of um really, really set up to do some progression. I want to show you. Um, let's finish up the summons and then I'll show you kind of where we're going progression wise. So Anasta, that is only one copy. Again, here's going to be a couple elite plus. We're looking here. We have one copy of Palmer, one, 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 one kind of across the board. Nobody at that point, even looking at Maulers, we have one right here. Don't even have two Nakaruru, so nothing there, guys. But looking in here, we just needed, what, one copy of Oren, which unfortunately we did not get. We have double copies of Nevi. We also do have double copies of Trishia. Then I think we're almost to the point, guys, that I'm thinking we're going to build out Trishia. Um, but Nevi could really help a lot, especially stacking relics. That That's a pretty tough, tough call, but you know what? I'm going to go in here and I'm going to build out Trishia. And again, these are heroes we know 100% without a doubt that we're going to build and we're going to build higher. Just need a little bit more food in there. And then this one, the exact same guys. So we got Ivan there. We have one copy. So we need one more copy, a little bit of food, and Ivan will be done. Silas, again, another one that we're going to be building up a little bit more. Just need food. This is the point, guys, where we're kind of stuck at food. But progression-wise, this is what we're looking at, guys. So Damon, we're keeping where he is. Now we are going to add that three of nine furniture on there. Then we're swapping Damon out. For Oden, we're actually building out the signature item a little bit. Also getting some gear. Now with um, Oren, we're doing the same. We're keeping him at a plus 20 signature item right now. Do want to get him a little bit higher. Now with Ivan, we are building up higher. Ivan is going to be the focus again, looking at here. So taking him to 180. And then trying to get these a little bit higher because remember, we are going to take Ivan over the plus 20 signature item. So Ivan, we're actually going to take to a plus 30 signature item just based on the build right there. So Ivan is at 180, guys. And again, a couple of these heroes, absolutely, we can continue to build up. And that is essentially what we've been doing. We've been running and had a lot of essence to burn. Ivan, we're going to be saving for. And then, of course, we have Hogan. Not going to be using Hogan anymore. And then we have a couple more Elite Plus Trishia. I can actually reset Hogan because, again, Hogan is not going to be one that we're going to be taking any higher at all. But Trishia is one that I need and I need built up considerable for the simple fact that we are going to need and we do have a really big need for some of the Wilder heroes to make progression. I've literally been going through our Resonating Crystal and just kind of rotating. Now, Beast Grounds, we got some food as well. I want to see if by chance we can pull a copy of our Radish just because the Radish is available right now um, to build within the store. So if I get one single copy of the Radish, it is, of course, going to give me some more resources. So we're pretty close here. We're still working on leveling up the rest of these pets. They are growing slowly but surely. Um, and again, going through a lot of the different game modes, guys, we have gotten a lot. We, we built up a lot. Furniture summons, the exact same. We're still looking to build up Damon a little bit higher. And then, of course, we only have one summon in here. Poke coins are going incredibly slow just building these heroes out. But again, guys, it is the, the consistent and the constant build that we're doing within here. Even Field of Stars, I feel like we've been unlocking a lot of this every single day. Elder Tree doing the exact same. We've been leveling it up kind of on a regular basis going through a lot of different game modes. And I'm pretty disappointed with the summons. We Not not the best summons in here. Voyage of Wonder, again, we're still waiting for the reset or the open up the rest of that. Peaks of Time, I blew through a lot of the historic adventures. I have to finish the rest of these. Then, of course, the Wandering Bloom, guys, we went through the first three. Going to have to make a lot more progression in there. But I feel like with adding those 20 levels to Damon, um, getting the gear a little bit higher, we're going to have no problem going through here. Then, of course, with Damon, we have to have everyone at 180. As much as I would love to engrave him, push him just a little bit higher, I am not going to. And then, of course, the rest of these, even the signature item, we are still waiting to build out. Um, we're still waiting to build out Damon, or excuse me, um, Ivan a little bit more. 
but we have a pretty good trio right there. Still running Brutus or Leica, vice versa. Um, either one of those doing incredibly well within the game modes. I feel like, again, probably with the build, we can finish up 24. We can probably get through most of 25, possibly even build out or get through 25. And again, guys, we're sitting on 16 days that we've been going through this account. Um, again, tower progression with Trishio with a couple other ones. I feel like this isn't going to be a big, big um, difficult hurdle to get through. So we can actually drop Mishka and we'll drop Nevi in here. Just need copies. Just need copies of everyone, guys. So we'll drop um, right there. And then who else were we going to put in here? Nevi. Again, Nevi, we don't have any food. Actually build out. But looking in here, guys, Orin can crush it and does absolutely crush it. And then we add Trishia in there, of course, a little bit of a better build in there. But as you can see, Orin just can dominate. And, and this will get me the next 20 floors through this tower, guys. We only have 19 left. We'll go through 20 floors. And then, of course, once the Forsaken Necropolis is up, that's going to be easy to get through um, because, of course, Damon. And then looking in here, even with the heroes being much higher on the build, again, the, the progression-wise, guys, we can do very, very well at this point, even getting Oden built up a little bit higher. Damon, very, very strong within the game mode. I don't know about the shields, though. I don't know if we can get through the shields. That's going to be a, a, a tough build between, between the shields. I feel like this one is going to be a little bit of RNG with getting Oden in here, be able to farm the diamonds in here, guys, and of course, farm out those stones. But I'm happy. I, I'm very, very happy with the progression. Again, the Graveborns are all, almost done. I mean, short of getting more food for them, that is what we need. That way we can take Ivan up a little bit higher. We can get Silas, we can get Grez. Then the change is going to move over to, of course, our wilder heroes, starting to make more progression. And then I cannot wait for the Abyssal Expedition running it in here. Um. It's going to be cool. It's going to be really cool to see. But all right, guys, so that'll do it for the progression update for our wishlist account. Again, we are 16 days at this point, so just north of two weeks. Kind of crazy. I believe we're going to get probably at least 30 chapters. Now, one of the drawbacks here, guys, is lacking the heroes. Even when we got into the Temple Rift, um, I don't have enough heroes in there to actually make progression any further because we've gotten to multiple teams and trying to balance between two teams. It's been incredibly difficult. But guys, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.